I'm Alan Montague and I'm going to show you very quickly how to make your horizon look like it's built up. So you've got a distance and you're coming closer to you. This is going to be a very simple piece. I'm not going to coat the whole board. I'm just basically going to show you the depth you can achieve by doing this little simple demonstration. I'm going to say we're dealing with sort of a late fall where you've got a lot of leaves are off the trees and I'm just going to just draw me basically just for conversation's sake, kind of a horizon line. Well, in that horizon, as you go off into the distance, you're going to find things are going to get a lot lighter. And since we're dealing with sort of late fall, I'm mixing a little bit of my burnt sienna along with a little bit of my black, and my phthalo blue, and coming up with a rare, very dull, sort of dreary color, but it adds a lot to the painting once you start to do this kind of thing in. Now these are just basically the essence of trees off in the distance. It's not just a typical line of trees. You've got all kinds of height coming in and I'll show you in a minute about what we do with the colors that we're going to blend and work with these but I'm just going to come right across just like this. These are trees that are way off in the distance. Take a little bit more of my titanium and just a touch of our mixture and these are going to get softer. Maybe these are going to be off or oh, maybe a quarter of a mile or a mile away but you're going to see them off in the shadow and the shading. And you can just lighten them up by adding your titanium to the color you've already got and softly, very very softly graying it out just like this. And maybe you come over here and they start to get a little closer again as they're moving to you and you've got another tree line right here. These are going to be taller because they're going to be closer. Still using my Mars Black and my Burnt Sienna just to lightly warm it up. See what I'm doing. And just for video purposes I'm just letting that just kind of fade off. And you come in here with some more of your trees that are a little bit closer to you kind of like that. And then this will give you pretty much the semblance that you have several layers of trees really kind of off in the distance. And maybe you want to add a little bit of your burnt sienna and a little bit of your green to give you kind of a we're using a little bit of our phthalo blue-green here. And you can come in you can add a little bit of mix. Maybe you've got some evergreens that are growing off in this background. And you just put a few of those in. Basically what you're doing is you're just building a painting. You're adding interest. These little trees, almost Christmas tree type looking trees, just add a lot to what you're doing. And then to give yourself some nice strong contrast, you come in here with shadow, make it a little intense, right up underneath, just like this, kind of drag it off. If our sunlight's coming this way, we can pretty much say that we're going to have some shadows out in here. And you can just bring this on across if you want to, and have it kind of come up. And this is going to give you a very simple background to put a little log cabin on or whatever you want to do. I'm going to add a little bit of my cadmium yellow to the mix to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And a touch of my phthalo blue just for interest. It hadn't got to be picture perfect. This is color. This is playing with color. If you want it picture perfect just go ahead and shoot a, shoot a picture of it with a camera and be done. Well, this will add fun, interest, make it a little bit brighter, add some neat colors to it. Bring these in, run them together and just see sort of what they look like when you, when you tie them in. Bring it across just like this. And let them come almost up to the top of what you just had. You're basically just kind of layering, you're just kind of putting in, taking out. Bring some of this right over top of this because you've got your yellow ochre underneath. We're going to come right here and then for total contrast we're going to come right back in just like we did and we're going to add our shadows 
around our trees. Just like this, nice, strong Mars black. Just drag it with your brush, almost like it's a watercolor effect. A little stronger right underneath, just in places, not solid. And that helps you build a nice background to work with. I'm Alan Montague. I enjoyed being with you today. Y'all take care here.